these three students. So today we are going to repeat the lesson around the medicinal creeper by KP Purnakamara Tejasvi. So first of all, welcome to the class. This particular chapter around a medicine creeper written by Purna Chandra Tejasvi, a well-known Kannada writer. So, actually we are studying a translated version of K.P. Purna Chandra Tejasvi's story, Murli Ke Balliya Sutta. This story has been translated from Kannada to English by K.M. Srinivasa Gowda. Okay, what is there in this particular story? And let's see or let's read something about K.P. Purna Chandra Tejasvi. If you have the text, open it. Otherwise, here I have you. You have been shown the textbook, video of the textbook. So, in the page, if you have textbook, let's go to page number 25 and it reads over there. There is a note on the author. The note reads, K.P. Purana Chandra Tejasvi, 1938 to 2007, is a prominent Kannada writer, novelist, photographer, ornithologist, publisher, painter, and monumentalist, and who made great impression on the Navya period of Kannada literature and inaugurated the Bandaya Epoch, <coughs> Bandaya Epoch with his short story collection, Abachur in a Post Office. In the early stages of his writing career, Tejasvi wrote poems, but later concentrated on short stories, novels, and essays. He has distinguished style of writing, which has heralded new era in Kannada literature. So he is Kannada writer. Now we are studying the anglicized version or translated version of the story. Well, this particular story has been published in a book called Parisarada Kathegadu, which is available in our college library. You can always, when your college reopens, you can come and collect that book. You can read it also. Okay, shall we? Now, what about this particular story? Right? Let's go back. This particular story is about a medicinal creeper, Mulike Balli. So, well, the COVID-19 has taught us, so many, taught us so many things, including the Hithela Gedukuda. So, there was a say, Hithela Geda Maddalla, that was an idea which is always there and it's still there among the people who believe that uh, whatever is very near to us may not, is not important. We do not give importance to that. This is one of the idea behind over there. Now in this particular chapter what are we going to study? We are going to study about one particular medicinal creeper which is or to some extent in some many places which was past tense I'm so reading, present in our nature which has medicinal value and kind of magical also to some extent to some people like one of the central character of our story Mara. So, what is it? A medicinal creeper. So, we have come across so many medicinal plants, seeds, and uh, roots. We may, have, we may have been using it, or uh, nowadays, so many such medicinal roots and medicinal plants have been being used in order to treat ourselves so that we need not we may not get coronavirus or we may not be affected the ayurvedic treatment and all these kind of things are happening right now and you have seen that right so here yes purana chandra tejas has written a lot earlier to the coronavirus case right uh, observe just observe observe martha hogi makale there is a peer reading activity you can see that again i will read it that my book my book from my book are you aware of the therapeutic value of commonly used spices like turmeric, cumin, mustard, cinnamon, cinnamon, cloves, garlic, ginger, pepper, etc. Share your ideas. Now, you cannot share your ideas like this. You can only write down and you can send it to us, right? So, what is it? What are those spices which have been listed over here? Have you seen that? Yes, we have seen that. We may have 
we have consumed it. Most of this you can see on a daily basis in our food, in our kitchen. Okay. These are the things, these are the spices which have medicinal value at the same time it is being used in our day to day lifestyle as ingredient for our food ingredients. Okay. Now, who has to study that? Did we study about it? Did we, did we uh, give importance to this? Well, we can think about it later on. But for time being, let's focus on the class. The story. What's the story? Around the medicine creeper. There are two important characters. We can uh, go with that. One, first character is that of a narrator. Who is a narrator? Narrator means one who narrates a story. So, Obba Vyakti Kathe Hilata Hogutane. So, who is this narrator? If you go back to the original book and look at uh, observe that, it seems to be our writer himself. But in our text, yes, it is not mentioned. Let's continue the narrator term. Second one is that of Mara. Mara is another character, he is actually a farmhand of our narrator. Narrator owned a farm la farmland. In that farmland, Mara was working as a farm hand, farm worker. Okay. Uh, Mara introduces our narrator to this particular medicinal creeper. And Mara shows that and Mara tells that it is a medicinal creeper. So from there onwards, Allinda Shurua Vitati Namakate. So the story begins with the Mara introducing himself to the medicinal creeper Mara introducing our narrator to the medicinal creeper okay so let's look at the first paragraph beside the picture yeah three people are there one is a old man and another one is a, looks like our narrator who is a, they, looks like Tejasvi and another character is there and what Mara is doing is that he is tying a creeper to a tree so what is a creeper well we all know that Alva. So, well, let's go with the story. First stanza. In the first stanza, our narrator tells how did he come across about this particular medicinal creeper and how long it has taken to him to understand the uh, identity uh, uh, to know some of the qualities, not all, some of the qualities of this medicinal creeper. Let me read. This is the story of an unusual medicinal creeper. There were so many stories about this creeper, some true, some imaginary and some totally false. To go beyond these stories and learn some facts about this plan took me almost 20 years. Exclamatory mark. So what is the story about? One particular medicinal creeper, not any medicinal creeper. It's, he says it's an unusual, asamanya. So, Asadharanavadu. What is the meaning of why he says so? Because there are so many, I mean, this is a powerful medicine story. And more than that, there are so many stories about this creeper. People say so many stories. And some of the stories are true. Many of them are false. And most of them are imaginary. Imaginary, kattukatte, kalpana. So, because of the uh, stories, because uh, there is there are so many stories, it took our narrator almost 20 years to distinguish between true stories and false. Okay, did you get it? How may, the question may come, how many years it took to the narrator to realize some of the qualities of the plant? 20 years, about 20 years. Now note, two words have been used, one plant, another one is creeper, both refers to the same. Understood? So shall we move on? Yes. Next paragraph, observe. A coffee seedbed bed has to be protected from the sun by put, putting up a shade over it. Once we were erecting a bamboo frame for a, such a shade and we needed something to something with which uh, we could tie the cane pieces placed across the frame. So we sent Sanna to get some creepers from the forest. He bought a whole bundle. Mara opened a bundle while sifting he suddenly looked at one of the Creepers and scolded Sanna. Hey, why did you pluck this, you fool? 
so what is it a coffee seed bed they were preparing to make coffee seed, um, plants okay so coffee seed bed has been prepared and in order to protect that coffee seeds what they needed they needed um, to put some shade generally in uh, nowadays what people use shade nets are being used but in those days and usually even today in many of the places what do we do we use natural material like uh, leaves and other things so in order to do that they needed a frame and the to frame they need to tie some uh, cane pieces with the so how do they tie this they tie this using not with the ropes uh, purchased from the shops instead they tie it with the creepers that you can, one can get freely and readily in the nature so they needed some creepers to tie the bamboo canes they have frame they prepared a frame from bamboo uh, bamboo bidrina bombinda frame agutte then to that they have added they have used cane pieces so to tie that they asked uh, sanna to go and bring some creepers so sanna brought a bundle so if a bundle is there there will be lot of creepers right some of them are useful some of them are not useful some of them are good some of them are better some of them are okay uh, in such case, so what mara has done is that he was sifting sifting is separating something useful something uh, better something like that he was sifting and at that time mara came across one particular creeper and as soon as he saw the creeper what he has done he is called sanna who is sanna sanna is the one who has brought the creeper from this and he scolds why did he plucked that why he did pluck that plant and he calls him fool because only fool can do that it is what mara thought now we have introduced so far two characters one is mara another one is sanna okay so when he was scolding our narrator got curious and he inquired and when he inquired mara said that it was a medicinal creeper sanna said that there was okay let's move on sanna said that there were plenty of it in the forest mara eagerly said come show me where it is and took sanna into the forest out of pure curiosity i also went with them that is how i got to know about this medicinal creeper when sanappa showed the plant mara became very active he caught hold of one of the tendrils and tied it to a nearby tree so our narrator got curious why he is scolding sanna for after all for his creeper so for that mara said it was a medicinal creeper and also he did not stop it over there he asked sanna to take him to the forest so they went to the forest when they were going to the forest our narrator also got curious and he also followed them what happened next what happened as soon as mara has seen the creeper what did he do he caught hold of one of the tendrils and tied it to a nearby tree he ties that creeper to the tree i was surprised at it at that and asked mara why did you tie the creeper to the tree the thief he said now it will be lying here why where do you think it will run to i asked him oh you don't know about this creeper it has been cursed by a sage the curse is that when someone needs this plant they shall not find it so when you want it and search for it you won't be able to find it for your dear life that is why when you find it you must immediately tie it to a nearby plant so that it will be lying there explained mara so this is first mara's story okay mara's stories are bizarre and this is one of the stories what is it our narrator asked why he was tying it to a tree then mara said that is a thief thief doesn't mean over here doesn't mean that something steals it hides itself when somebody needs that plant they will not find it it go uh, goes and hides anno anta arthadalli heltane oh you don't know about this creeper it has been cursed cursed shapisuvantu shapisalpaduvantu so one sage has cursed this creeper what is the curse when somebody needs it when somebody needs it they shall not find it 
okay fine again and that is why mara tells why he was tying you have to tie it to nearby tree so that it will not run away tappiskond hogbardalva so that's what mara said and as soon as mara said that our narrator was curious and asked do you think it will really run off and mara said that it, that it has been cursed okay fine so let's shall we move on okay the creeper has small leaves resembling bitter leaves and bears fruits in bunch like grapes immediately after the rains this plant comes up and flowers very quickly puts forth the flowers and fruits and dies it comes up again only in the next rainy season so in between no one sees this plant because it is not seen for most of the year they probably tie it to a nearby tree so that it can be easily identified or located but mara stories are so bizarre that one does not know which one is true or which false this this is not confirmed only to people like mara the entire system of indian medicine suffers from this kind of mystification so here our narrator gives um, uh, uh, gives some ideas why the people might be thinking that it goes and hides okay he explains about the medicinal creeper he tells or he gives description of the medicinal creeper so how it is creeper has small leaves what type of leaves the leaves of the creeper is like betel leaves vilagale but it is small very small but looks like betel leaves and it also bears fruits like bunch of grapes bunch grape bunch type uh, sorry grape bunch type alli fruits irutte so next what he says this plant comes up only in the rainy season soon after the rains this plants come up in the rainy season and very soon what happens it flowers and gives fruit and then dies so it's life circle is limited to one rainy season itself after rainy season the plant dies okay and it will come up only in the next rainy season so in between two rainy seasons or most of the season nobody sees this plant so when people doesn't see this plant they think that this plant has been disappeared isn't it so this may be one of the reason our narrator says this may be one of the reason why people think that it disappears it disappears because it has already died understood but the roots the, it will be still in the uh, ground so next to rainy season it will come up okay so next he says it's not only mara tells so many stories but entire system of indian medicine native medicine system okay he is not talking about the uh, allopathic medicine he is talking about native medicine system illi enagutte well in native medicine system the native doctors or the uh, people who gives medicine who are actually not a doctor they do not tell us what are the ingredients what exactly they have given to their patients because they have their own beliefs they are all free, free. even if when they are going to, uh, even if they tell something they do not tell properly or truthfully they say something this and that and they mix up everything and they mystify everything you know one tara shapa katte galan katte helibittu the kind of they actually doesn't give anything at all for us understood this is one of one so entire system of indian medication this is the reality that's what he says okay in the next uh, part let's read out in all my wanderings in the forest with masti bayira appanna mara and others i gleaned many things among them few things i learned about some of these plants and herbs so in my wanderings wandering thirugata so our narrator has wandered um, roamed he- or search or um, uh, traveled in the forests he was not alone sometimes he used to go with masti sometimes bairo and appanna mara and so many others they were their partners and in those times he has observed so many things what did he observe some of the things he has observed are or he learned about this medicinal plants and herbs 
ಈ ಮೂಲಿಕೆಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕಲಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂ